So as we gather together again, we're reminded always of our sin. Well, spoiler alert for the sermon today. If we say that we have no sin, we make God a liar. Because God has told us that we are all fallen short. So at this time then we'll confess our sins to him through silent confession. Scripture also tells us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And he does forgive us all of our sins. Praise God for his grace. So at this time then, I'll call on Ben Kinzel for the scripture readings. Please stand as you are able. daughters who are here, lest you be swept away in the punishment of the city. But he lingered. So the men seized him and his wife and his two daughters by the hand, the Lord being merciful to him, and they brought him out and set him outside the city. And as they brought them out, one said, Escape for your life. Do not look back or stop anywhere in the valley. Escape to the hills, lest you be swept away. And Lot said to them, O oh, no, my lords. Behold, your servants have found favor in your sight, and you have shown me great kindness in saving my life. But I cannot escape to the hills, lest the disaster overtake me and I die. Behold, this city is near enough to flee to, and it is a little one. Let me escape there. Is it not a little one, and my life will be saved? He said to them, Behold, I grant you this favor also, that I will not overthrow the city of which you have spoken. Escape there quickly, for I can do nothing till you arrive there. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun had risen on the earth when Lot came to Zoar. Then the Lord rained on Sodom and Gomorrah sulfur and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew these, those cities and all the valley, and all the inhabitants of the cities, and what grew on the ground. But Lot's wife behind him looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. The New Testament reading is taken from Acts chapter 26, verses 1 through 18. So Agrippa said to Paul, you have permission to speak for yourself. Then Paul stretched out his hand and made a defense. I consider myself fortunate that it is before you, King Agrippa, I am going to make my defense today against all the accusations of the Jews, especially because you are familiar with all the customs and controversies of the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, spent from the beginning among my own nation and in Jerusalem, is known by all the Jews. They have known for a long time, they are willing to testify, that according to the strictest party of our religion, I have lived as a Pharisee. And now I stand here on trial because of my hope and the promise made by God to our fathers, to which our twelve tribes hope to attain as they earnestly worship night and day. And for this hope, I am accused by Jews, O King. Why is it thought incredible by any of you that God raises the dead? I myself was convinced that I ought to do many things in opposing the name of Jesus of Nazareth, and I did so in Jerusalem. I not only locked up many of the saints in prison after receiving authority from the chief priests, but when they were put to death, I cast my vote against them. And I punished them often in all the synagogues and tried to make them blaspheme. And in raging fury against them, I persecuted them even to foreign cities. In this connection, I journeyed to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priests. At midday, O okay, King, I saw on the way a light from heaven, 
brighter than the sun that shone around me and those who journeyed with me. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is, it is hard for you to kick against the goat. The and I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said to me, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand upon your feet, for I have, appoint, I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you as a servant and witness to the things in which you have seen me and those in which I will appear to you, delivering you from your people and from the Gentiles, to whom I am sending you to open their eyes, so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Thank you, Beth. I like those shorts. I was expecting Chris you know, with the shirt, but I think those shorts are going to top it. So uh, let's, uh, let's share a prayer request with one another and go to the Lord in prayer. Any prayer request? 